Well, I hope you guys are happy because I am irritated. <laughs> Hi. Welcome to my channel. Today I wanted to talk about something because probably the greatest crime of this MLM world that we are living in has occurred. Though MLMs commit very questionable acts upon us each and every day, I feel like this one is the worst because it's during Pride Month. And if there's one thing, one thing I will not tolerate, it's homophobia. <laughs> So that is what we're gonna be talking about today because this act that has occurred by this MLM, quite frankly, it's not direct homophobia, but it has the underlining scent of it. What is happening with this is what I would like to know. So what am I even talking about? I was on the anti-MLM subreddit the other day and I came across this post and I immediately saved it because this is something that needs to be known. There is an MLM company called Sensi. I have briefly mentioned them I'm pretty sure before when I did my tier ranking video and they kind of just sell like soaps and body wash and all the scenty things. So what has happened is apparently a reoccurring act that they have done is stealing content from other smaller companies or small businesses and which is already bad in itself and by that i mean copying posts or captions or you know stuff like that copying unique ideas from smaller companies which is something that happens all the time that's not cool either but the problem with this one is one it's during pride month which is leave the gays alone you know what i mean like can, can we give them one thing and it's pride month can we not, you know, mess with them? And can we not do anything to them like during Pride Month? The baffling part is that this company, Sensi, this MLM, took an original idea from not only a small business, but an LGBTQ owned small business. And they posted it again on a Pride, during Pride Month. They've done that before and claim the caption as, hey, happy Pride Month. We love our girlies, gays, and theys. I, the irony, right? So let me read this. So this is from the smaller company that Sensi stole from. This is the owner and the caption reads here. I'll move over so you guys can really see this. The caption reads, hi, morning. So Sensi stole from me. Shocked? I'm not. Stealing from a queer business owner to prove their allyship to the queer community. Mm -hmm. The fact that he's not shocked, the fact that they understand that something like this was going to happen, that's another big problem that we need to talk about. The caption continues, I want the image taken down and a public apology on every platform it was posted Help me by asking them for exactly that on their Instagram profile where the stolen imagery lives and on their Facebook where it probably is too. Happy Pride! <laughs> this is the corporate BS I was talking about because of course it's stolen and from me. I'm dead, lol. If you want to support the company who made this art, share this until it's viral and check us out at Crumble Co. Thanks. I need a nap. Yes, I tagged them. <laughs> so yeah, the name of the small company is called Crumble. Make all of their own stuff. And compared to Scentsy, let, let's look them up on Instagram and see, see the difference. Okay, Crumble Co. has 43,000 followers on Instagram. Let's see how much Scentsy has. 261. Wow. So... As you can see there, living proof that this is a much smaller company. They are LGBTQ owned. Let's move on to the post that was stolen. Here is an image. So the top one is going to be this, and this is from years ago. This is from, I believe 2019. Also again, during Pride Month in 2019 is when they also did this. 
fun. So <laughs> the top is going to be Crumple Co, their original idea and image and products. And the bottom is Sensi's, which there is a difference, but uh, not a difference in a good way. I don't mean that in a good way. I mean that as it looks way, it looks way more terribly executed <laughs> than the first one. The first one's clean, it's precise, it fits everything all together perfectly. And on the bottom one, it looks like paper mache. I don't know, it's not good, but this was posted on the Crumbles, Crumble Co's Instagram story after they stole another image from them. And this was just recently and the image I'm referring to is the one that was in the caption that I showed you before, where on the right is going to be Crumble Co's original image, and then the left, if you can probably see, I don't know if you can, is their Sensi's ex weirdly executed, terribly executed version of it as you can see so the caption it says um my photographer just pointed out that sensi stole our image they stole a pride image from an actual lgbtqia plus company sensi a company who don donates to the anti-queer mormon church our image is from years ago for Pride Month, and I specifically requested it. As you can see, they have stolen images from them before, as we have seen, and I think that that little caption right there really just proves it, that it's, it's quite ironic that they stole this idea, not only from a small business, but from a LGBTQIA plus company during Pride Month. Like that truly baffles me. Like who, where, who is their production team? Like who is, you know, keeping in line of all this stuff? Who is keeping track of all this? Obviously someone needs to get fired. You know what I mean? Like they can't just keep, after the first time, they should have known like also they're a bigger company so the smaller company will know like hey a bigger company is taking my idea so after the first time they got caught that really should have been the end of it for any you know for any future other companies not even just this one but for any other future small businesses that's already so stupid and ironic and baffling and irritating enough like i said earlier can we give the gays one month please <laughs> like they've already dealt with enough they already deal with enough you know in this day and age can we just stop can can this end please sensi like this is truly the worst thing ever and so they put out a statement when everyone was calling them out telling them what the business was telling them you know what the deal is and acting like they didn't know because they have done it before in the past it's like either you knew or you knew <laughs> you knew what you were doing you know what i mean it is not the smaller businesses fault that bigger companies cannot come up with their own creative unique ideas anymore okay so so their caption in response to all of this reads as is our post yesterday and every day celebrating Pride Month was meant to be one of positivity, love, and support for all. <sighs> Big eye roll because it's supposed to be one meant to be of positivity, love, and support, but you stole their idea. So how's how is that support? We recently removed that post when it was discovered that the image used created by our design team last year was uncomfortably similar to an image that was created by one of our competitors. Okay. Okay. While artists and designers frequently look to other artists and designers for inspiration, we felt the similarities between the images clearly crossed the line and removed our post after our team thoroughly investigated the situation. Okay, what's confusing about that is, so they're saying, oh, the image was uncomfortably similar to an image that was used by one of the competitors, right? That was created by Crumble Co. While artists and designers frequently look to other artists and designers for inspiration. Okay, yeah, but it's 
literally the same exact image and you know it's same exact design you know what i mean it's the same thing with the james charles and h3 merch thing because it's literally the same exact design. It's not, oh my gosh, it's kind of similar. No, it's the same design. You literally stole. There's a difference between it being, you know, kind of similar and it just straight up being the same exact idea just executed way, way more awful and terribly. We sincerely apologize to Brandon Love and his team and community over at Crumble Co as well as to Sensi consultants, customers, and fans everywhere. We will be taking steps to ensure that this is not, that this does not happen again. Bitch, where were you the first time when it did happen? It should have never happened at all. You know what I mean? Once it's like, okay. Two, it's, you know, you're, you just, you're homophobic. You know what I mean? And can, and we'll continue to look for ways to represent and support our very diverse community. Okay, so that's kind of, I mean, yeah, they said sorry to, you know, Crumble and the owner brand love. I just can't believe we felt the similarities between the images clearly crossed the line and removed our post after our team thoroughly investigated. Bitch, your team knew exactly who they, they should have mentioned It's such like a lighthearted, like, we're so sorry to them that we took your idea. You need like a bigger apology or at least even mention the fact that you stole from an LGBTQIA plus company. Also, the fact that I'm able to say that like really fast, like a bitch knows. <laughs> they're trying to keep everything squeaky clean. They're trying to, they're a company, they're trying to be professional. I understand. At least mention or tell people because I bet people have never heard of Crumble Co and know of Sensi are like, oh, okay, they sold from this this other brand. Like they have the same kind of thing. That's kind of weird. It's like, you need to let the public know that your production team or whatever, whoever's investigating this, they, they knew. You need to let the public know that your production team stole from not only a smaller business, because I don't even think that they mentioned that it was a smaller business of them. They were like, oh, our competitor. I'm like, they have 43,000 followers on Instagram while you have 200,000. So there's a big difference there. They also need to mention the fact that it was an LGBTQIA plus company because people are just gonna be oblivious and just think that it's a normal whatever company. They don't know that it's smaller and that also it was during Pride Month. Like they made that post. They stole that idea and made that post to be like, hey, happy Pride Month. Like we love our girlies, gays and days. And then people saw the photo and they traced it back. And they're like, oh, if you love them, then why did you just literally steal their idea right before our eyes, right before their eyes? So it's exhausting, it's annoying, it's irritating. Yes, so the original post was with the little like rainbow thing. The original post was made by Crumble Candle in June of 2019 during Pride Month. June is Pride Month. And the, as you can see, it has literally 360 likes, 359 likes. So very small, very small like numbers in terms of what Sensi is probably bringing in. In response to all this, when they posted that response and Sensi responded to the situation and they posted a response, they, they posted this thing, which is like cute, but also, I don't know, it could have been a little more like a screenshot of the side by side. If you really want to take responsibility, show the side by side, show the company that it was because they just kind of said what the company was. They didn't tag them or anything. So it's kind of like Crumble Co is gonna have to keep looking at their Instagram or looking, waiting for a response because they truly did not tag them at all. So how are they supposed to know? Yeah, so all of this is just very irritating that this is happening, that this is something that has to be dealt with, that needs to be talked about. If you guys do want to support them, I will link their Instagram and, you know, leave that in the description. You know, go support, you know, your LGBTQIA plus companies during Pride Month and every month out of the year. And I just wanted to bring 
more attention to this because it is a common occurrence for bigger companies to take ideas from smaller companies. It happens all the time. We see it in the makeup community. We see it, you know, in fashion and all aspects. I just wanted to bring more light to this because as an artist, as someone who is trying to grow their brand, grow their company, promote more of their products and come up with and create new and original ideas, which is already very difficult to do. To have not only a company, I think what makes it worse is that Sensi is an MLM. So it's like not even a big company, like, ooh, I'm flattered. I'm like, ew, it's an MLM that's trying to copy me. Oh, I would be pissed off. My condolences and my heart goes out to Crumble Co, Brandon Love, and everyone on that team that helped with everything. And that is just a part of that wonderful company. So that is pretty much all I have to say about that. I just needed to rant about that a little bit and I wanna spread that message because it's Pride Month and I will not let this homophobic crime be committed not under my terms, I will fight. I am ready to fight for <laughs> the LGBTQ community. You already know this. And you know, unity in diversity. Unity in diversity. We are diverse world. Let's try to be unified and stop stealing from each other. How about we stop stealing from each other? So <laughs> thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment, subscribe, do all that jazz. And make sure if you want to share this so you know someone that's into Sensi, be like, um, you should watch this video because they stole from uh, people and that's not good. Oh, also before I go, if you want to support any more LGBTQ, you know, stuff in the entertainment business. My sister has a podcast that talks about old books from her childhood. She rereads books from her childhood and then discusses them now. And I have actually been on the last few episodes. I did the last episodes of Series of Fortune Events. And I also did Dear Dumb Diary, which is still in continuation. So stay tuned for that. Hear me and her talk about it. And yeah, so thank you for joining me. And as always, thanks for watching. <laughs>